Crossrail is building a new railway for London and the South East, running from Reading and Heathrow in the west through 42 kilometres of new tunnels under London to Shenfield and Abbey Wood in the east. The project is building 10 new stations and upgrading 30 more, while integrating new and existing infrastructure in time for the operational service, which will be known as the Elizabeth Line when it opens in December 2018. So why are we building Crossrail? The population of London today stands just under 9 million. By 2020 it'll be 9, by 2030 it's predicted to be 10 million. In order to allow London to grow, we need to produce the extra capacity. There's 200 million passenger journeys, and here at Canary Wharf around 70,000 people a day will be travelling in the peak periods at the start and at the end of the day. And what that enables Crossrail to do is to double the capacity of the Canary Wharf estate. It really is a great illustration of providing extra capacity in order for London and the South East to grow. Crossrail will be delivered on programme and within its funding envelope. And you can see around me the complex systems that have to come together to deliver a world-class railway line. 66 new Class 345 trains, the platform screen doors, the station finishes, all the complex systems. But sitting at the centre of this team, whether a professional, on a long-term career, a new graduate, or one of the 700 apprentices, civil engineers sit at the heart of these teams. Designing, planning, leading, getting over the numerous challenges that they have. It's a fantastic career if what one wants to aspire to do is to deliver this exciting new infrastructure. And if you're a young man or a young woman today thinking about a career in engineering, there are £600 billion pounds worth of infrastructure projects ahead here in the United Kingdom. There has never been a better time to enter this exciting world of civil engineering.